Hello and welcome back, I'm DMAC and today I thought I would do a picking video and I'm going to be looking at this one here. <clears throat> this is a um, Brady Safe Key Lotto Lock Aluminium Body Steel Shackle Ultimate Key Precision Advanced Security. Not sure exactly what that means, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Um, so these are the same size as like an American Lock 1100 aluminium body, but these are the ones with the funny looking keys on them. Um, and an odd sort of keyway. Um, so what you've got in there, there's six pins in there. Um, and rather, the, rather than with like a um, pin tumbler um, mechanism, these are more, they're not pins, sorry, they're, they're sliders, but <clears throat> um, they're kind of sprung that way. So you've got a spring on this end and then the slider on that end. So we'll just need to push down those sliders uh, that way and uh, hopefully to get this open. Now I got this a couple of days ago and my first attempts at playing with it were did were not very fruitful. Um, I really could not uh, figure out how to uh, kind of tension it is the, is the main problem. If I zoom you in and the other thing you've got <clears throat> which hopefully you can't really see much in there it's all black and that isn't because um, it's not because uh, it's too dark in there it's because you've got this there's like a little sort of rubber uh, shit shield <laughs> in there I guess you'd call it to stop dust and stuff uh, getting in there but that means you also you can't, can't really see what you're doing and the difficulty I had I'll zoom you out a bit as well uh, the difficulty I had is you put any tensions in there so inside I don't know if you'll be able to see so you've got six pins you've got three on that side so sliders sorry and three on that side so you can't really see where they are but if you put um yeah you can't quite see them if you put like a wiper insert in there like that which will tension the core <clears throat> you end up blocking off a couple of those sliders so i watched a couple of videos and people had put a tension wrench in like that they'd pick the sliders they could get to uh, and then they'd put another tension wrench in like that and then pick the other ones um, and then maybe have to go back to those first ones now i did that but i really didn't have any success i didn't get it picked open I also found that the tension wrench in the in the top of the keyway, if you can call it a top of the keyway, um, would kind of get bound up on um, this shield here, and also that bit on top there, that silver bit you can just see there. Um, you can't tension off that; that's just sitting on the rubber gasket. So you have to go in quite deep to find something to tension off. Anyway, so I wasn't really getting anywhere with that, um, and so I decided to. Um, try modifying a tension wrench um i think in the bosnian bills video which was one of the ones that i watched um he modified a tension wrench and i did the same i think he put his in the bottom of the keyway like that um but i have had more success putting it in the top um so just like that and we should be able to tension the core and as you can see uh the wrench oh that little cut out there uh, we'll just clear that shield on the top <clears throat> and the other thing that means as well um, I had to take this apart to figure out how to make this tool and make it to the correct depth is with this particular wiper uh, insert it was just the right width that I can fit it right in the top of the keyway and have it sat in that kind of position and that gave me access to all six of the sliders um, and doing it that way I, um, I seem to have a success so Let's get him in the vise and see if we can duplicate that success on camera. I'm going to be picking it with, um, this is a broken pick, it's one of my first SS devs with my, one of my first handles on it, um, but the tip broke on this one. Um, so it's, I've kept it, so, so it's a probe um, and it's ideal for picking these sliders because they're, um, can't they just fill one there, so they're kind of uh, sprung sliders and we've just got to push down on them. Right, let's get him in the vise. See if we can uh, get him picked. So the crucial thing, <clears throat> just check his work in there. The crucial thing with this is getting this tensioner at just the right height, which um, might work first time or might not. Okay, that feels pretty good. Let's give it a go. I found that um, it tends to pick pretty easily once you've got that tensioner um, in the right spot. And we've got to already, I've, I've pressed five pins. I kind of go uh, anti-clockwise. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So I've pressed five pins there. And I'm already in quite a deep full set. It's definitely not open yet. One, two, three, four. It feels like they're all um, pushed down. I'm going to reset and start again. Because the other thing I found with this lock, uh, almost bricked it actually. Um, after I was picking it, I don't know if it was the way I was picking it or not, but um, yeah, the, the, the key keyway kind of got stuck at sort of like, you know, 10, 20 degrees and I, could, I couldn't get the key in and I ended up forcing the key in and uh, eventually it did open. So let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, so I think those sliders, I keep calling them pins, I think those sliders sometimes get stuck because um, the mechanism in these just does feel a little bit cheap. Um, I think there's plastic involved in it as well, so I think if you force it too much, um, it's going to end up destroying it. We've got a nice little turn there on the core. Just check he's not actually open. No, not quite. Yeah, so I don't think these the uh, the Bosnian build did take one of these apart. It didn't have any false gates or anything like that, but it kind of almost acts like it has. I think because that mechanism is cheap, it ends up getting stuck in the wrong position, and um, it's not you know if you let the tension off, you still can't get it open. Let's go in again. All right, there we go. So again, some really nice clicks there. A nice bit of movement on the core. Well, that might be it. That's just. Double check. And <laughs> it's not, no. It's really at quite an angle to not be open that. Oh, it is open. I thought that angle was uh, yeah, far too deep for it not to be open. There we go, we did get it open. Yeah, I think it's really quite stiff in there get this vice out of the way um, and when you do get it picked um, even with that little notch that I had cut out of this one uh, it's still difficult to get that core to turn all the way but that tool seems to work really well uh, we can have a little look in this I'm not going to fully gut it um, but we'll gut it a little bit and I can show you what we've got so that's just uh, the retaining uh, bolt and then we've got that's that shield that goes on the front and oddly enough the same as on the America locks you've got those little shields but these shields have got like a little um, kind of uh, little bit coming out of there which locks into the body so you can't pry it off but this one's missing that so you could quite easily uh, peel it off but it's not a real security lock it's a, it's a lotto lock isn't it um, so it's not like a high security so you've got that little shield there, which I've managed to bend and mangle. It's just a cheap bit of metal, which sits on the top. So as I said, you can't tension off of that, because that's just fixed to this rubber. And that's that rubber that I was saying about with the uh, um, little guard to keep uh, crap from getting in there. 
and there's the actual um, sliders themselves. You can see that some of those are stuck actually. There we go. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can get them out, strip them down a little bit more than that, I think. So as you can see, that's that's plastic there. So if you force it too much, you're going to um, you're going to damage something. Um, so yeah, you've got the six sliders and it, those three sliders there operate this sidebar, and those three operate that sidebar. So when you put the key in, you just see those sidebars retract, and that allows the core to turn. But then you've got this bit at the back, um, which. Uh, uh, yeah, opens the, uh, the actuator on the padlock, and that's plastic as well. So it's it's just a really cheap lock. So I think when you play with it, when you're picking it, although it's fun to pick, you got to kind of be uh, careful not to um, put too much uh, pressure on it. Otherwise, you'll end up bricking it like I almost did. <laughs> but there you go. That's the uh, Brady Safe Key Loco Lot Out uh, Loco Lot Out Lockout Padlock. Um, I had to buy one because. I just thought that key was uh, quite unusual and it will sit nicely with my American 1100 and clone uh, collection. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Um, stay safe and uh, I'll see you on the next one.